The Imlay City community rallying together tonight to help a family suffering from an unspeakable loss. Three children, all six years of age or younger, killed when a mobile home fire, uh, mobile home rather, caught fire. Four others hospitalized tonight, including a one-month-old girl. Let's get to Mara McDonald, who was at tonight's vigil. Mara. You know, even at this late hour, we still have people stopping by the home, lighting a candle, dropping off a stuffed animal, anything to show that they care. The family couldn't be here tonight and they just wanted me to let everybody know. Thanks for the love and thanks for the prayers. Friends, neighbors and co-workers saying a prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son. Father, 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 Father. Lighting candles for Crystal Whitney, her husband Keith Kelly and their children. Six-year-old Keith, five-year-old Keandre and three-year-old Kiana died in the early morning fire in their mobile home. Kids were her whole world. Keith Sr. and their two other children, an 18-month-old and a one-year-old, are in the hospital in critical condition. Police say Crystal escaped the flames and was screaming for help. The furnace wasn't working. Police think a space heater is likely to blame for the fire, which destroyed the home in minutes. So much thoughts, emotions. I mean, I broke down and cried like I didn't know the situation, and all I could do was pray and pray to God that this family has survived this. Jamie dropped Keith off after work last night and came to pick him up this morning morning only to see the ruins of the home. Already, Imley City has answered the call for help after Andrea Taylor saw what happened. I met her through Facebook. Uh, she was at It Works uh, distributor. You know, you don't have to know somebody personally to know them. Andrea reached out to community friends and like that, donations have poured in to help this family with the multiple funerals they're facing. When something devastating like this happens, we come together as one and make sure we take care of each other. I think we had close to 100 people come out here tonight simply to let this family know that they're thinking about them. Meanwhile, further down the street at a church here in town, first responders went through a debrief to try and get through everything that they've seen today. We're in Emily City. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, Mara, Michigan State Police investigators are also helping determine the cause of the fire.